Hey movie fans, here to talk about the number one movie of the weekend, Mission Impossible Fallout. This is the sixth movie in the Mission Impossible series, and uh, man, I've got some stuff I want to say about it. Um, first of all, this is your mission, should you choose to accept it. Did you ever choose not to accept it? <laughs> you have to choose the consequences, or in other words, the fallout of your actions. And so this movie takes us kind of through that experience for Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, to help us see, you know, like, man, what's going on? What happens afterwards with things? So, so pretty cool, pretty intriguing premise. Uh, how's it doing? Well, it's doing really well. It's currently at a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, with the top Rotten Tomato critics having it at a 98%. The audience score is giving it a 92%. IMDb has a 8.5 out of 10 rating. Metacritic has an 86%. Google user has 97% that liked it. And it has an A cinema score. <laughs> so well received. Like, wow, people are really enjoying, really pleased, and really loving this movie. However, it opened to $61.5 million. Now, that is the largest in the Mission Impossible series, but at the same time, it feels kind of underwhelming for such a big blockbuster movie and in today's box office market. So that's kind of interesting to see, and, and really just, I think more and more people need to go and see this movie uh, because it really is great. I would definitely have no reservations in calling this a must-see. It is just awesome fun to go to and to see. But at the same time, <laughs> having gone through all those reviews, seeing how high the scores are, seeing how high and how well received it is, um, I would advise to keep expectations in check. <laughs> yes, it is a very good movie. Yes, it is a very solid movie. But, you know, it still is a Mission Impossible movie. I wouldn't want people to go thinking this was going to be the most life-changing epic, blow-your-mind experience. I, I worry if you went in with those extremely high expectations, they might be disappointed. But if you know that it's a Mission Impossible movie with great action, a great solid plot and storyline with great spy events happening here and there all over the place, um, then I think you can have a really great experience because it really is just a, a, a solid movie. So keep those expectations in check. Uh, some reviews are saying that maybe it's the best action movie ever. Now, I don't know if I can make that claim, but I would say that the action is definitely phenomenal. Very good. But what, what it was for me that made it so great was what they did with it visually. The cinematography in this movie was really cool. They did some things that, you know, they were, they were kind of different. Um, Jaw-dropping, even, um, to where it felt like I was going along with the action, with the chase scene, with the fall, with the, you know, all the stuff that was happening, all that great action. Uh, it felt like I got to go along for the ride. And man, what a cool thing to experience um, in, in Mission Impossible Fallout. So that's pretty awesome. As I said, the story, the plot, all those things, very solid, must-see movie. Uh, it's great summer fun, but it's also great smart summer fun. Tom Cruise is excellent, amazing that he does these stunts. Uh, so cool. Um, the fight scenes were great. Henry Cavill is so super. Loved him in this movie, did a great job. And of course, the amazing and talented Rebecca Ferguson does a great job returning uh, in this movie as her, in her role as Elsa uh, that we saw her in in Rogue Nation. Back again, doing more great things. So. Pretty awesome. Uh, just maybe as a little bit of a warning if you're wondering about bringing little kids along. It is PG-13. It's got PG-13 language. It's got PG-13 uh, fight scene action. You know, that kind of a, a situation. Just, just as a warning, uh, you might want to look into that. But overall, great movie. Great time at the movie theaters. And uh, I sure hope that you guys will go out and go see Mission Impossible Fallout and uh, that you'll also have a good experience with it. Thanks for checking in, everybody.